Hey everyone, this is the Bearded Zeno, and this is quite simply too good of an eBay haul to not give its own video to. You know, normally I'll collect like a couple different shipments, put them into one video, and make it a little bit more interesting because, you know, some things might have like one game here, or three games here, yada yada. And it's a lot easier, you know, to do that and just to make one video like, oh, hey, cool, you know, I got Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> so, um, this is. All kinds of stuff inside of here. Uh, this was like a seven-day auction, I believe. At least it was like six hours and something whenever I found it. And uh, it, starting bid was $25. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. I just kind of put it on the back burner and said, ah, you know, maybe I'll bid on it, you know, if nobody else does. And lo and behold, on the last day, somebody bid on it. And, uh, it was just $25. So I waited. And I waited. And I waited. And I, you know, messaged a couple friends. And so shout out to Rob here. And I said, So, should I snipe it? You know, try to snipe it? Because they only have one bid. I don't know if they got a max bid on there or not. So, you know, at least let me try to get it for $26. And thankfully, that motherfucker did not put... <laughs> A max bid on it, so everything in this box I got for twenty six dollars. I think shipping was like twelve dollars, so it was like forty after taxes and shipping. Whatever, I don't count that. A lot of people say, "Oh, well, you you after shipping and tax." Like, no, those are necessity of life. You know, shipping costs. You know, it costs money to ship stuff. Taxes are taxes. So, <laughs> you know, just the base price of what you pay for something is what I consider the price of the item. So, everything you're about to see in this video was $26. Um, now, they did not show any pictures inside the game cases, but they said everything was in at least good condition and everything had the discs. Oh man, I'm shaking this whole thing. The TV's going all over the place. Some good tape on here. Uh, so, <laughs> we'll, we'll be the judge of that, but for 26 bucks, um, there's a few duplicates in here that I'm going to have that I can, or just, uh, you know, for original Xbox that I'm going to go ahead and give to Sprazley Dolphin. Uh, there's some cartridge stuff in here that he's going to get, and I've gotten my money's worth out of it for stuff that I'm going to keep already, so. We're just going to go through this together. Uh. Let's see, we're gonna put it over here. I think you guys can still see that. Oh, oh, my god, it's inside bags. Okay. I, I hate shipping paper. Uh. We, which bag should we go through first? Oh, no, we're gonna save this bag for last. We'll go through this one first. And. What is this? This one. Oh, that's the cartridge. You know, we'll go through the cartridge ones first. This is really neat with the way they uh they packaged it in here. Okay, so you know what? I'm not gonna dump it out. I'm gonna go one at a time. So uh what is this for? Is this for 2600 It doesn't say. I'm going to assume this is 2600 If anybody knows, let me know. It's Atari. Um, it looks different than 2600 because I got E.T. somewhere. Oh, things are, I don't know. This is just in there. But it is Word Zapper. Use with Atari Video Computer Systems or Sears Video Arcade. Huh. I have no idea what this is. Um, so if anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. But we got Word Zapper for some kind of Atari system. And let's go with some uh, the Game Boy Color stuff next. We have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for Game Boy Color. And all these Game Boy games, I want to go ahead and give to Surprisingly Dolphin because I don't do Game Boy stuff. Not because I don't like it, it's because I don't have a system. I also don't have, I don't like just having cartridges 
just laying around like that. Uh, so, don't have a good way to display them. That's just the way it is. Next up we have The Lion King for Game Boy Color. I mean, I love Game Boy games. I had a Game Boy back in the day, but just uh, not for me right now. And we have three Game Boy Advance games. We have Backyard Football. I think this might be the first time I've ever held a Game Boy Advance game. Like, I know all my friends have had them before, but I've just never actually really used a Game Boy Advance. I know this is the first time I've owned any, but they're going to own them for too long. Because they're going straight to Sparrowsy Dolphin. And, uh, next up, this has some Sharpie on it, but... Mary Kate Mashley Sweet 16 License to Drive. <laughs> so there you go, buddy. You got a Mary Kate Mashley game. And this is the one he was most excited about. The... I went with the bag. <laughs> uh, it's some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh game, but it is in Japanese. So he's going to absolutely love that. I mean, he saw that it was a Yu-Gi-Oh game, but he couldn't quite see the uh, the picture. And I didn't know that it was in Japanese either. So, yeah, you can see right there it says Yu-Gi-Oh at the very top. So that's really cool. And it's the Japanese cart too. So yeah, buddy, you got a Japanese Game Boy Advance game. Okay. And again, this was twenty-six dollars for all this. Twenty-six. I gotta remember not to talk when I'm rattling sacks or closing cases because I've noticed my mic blows out. So next up we have a copy of Halo for the original Xbox. And I already have two copies of Halo, so this is going to surprisingly dolphin. That is not an original case. It is not complete, but there's a XSN uh, advertisement there. Okay. Now we can check dick disc condition. Dick condition? Oh, wow. Uh, ooh, not the best. Not the best. As you can see, some light scratches. But not too bad. Okay. Next up, we have a copy of Ghost Recon 2. This is probably my fourth copy of Ghost Recon 2 that I've had. Case looks a little water damaged. I don't know how in the hell this generation of games has so many water damaged games. Do people just like take their games in the shower with them or you know like oh let's go swimming with my copy of Ghost Recon 2? I don't understand. <laughs> I really I, I've come across way more water damaged games for PS2, Xbox, and GameCube than they have for any other system ever. So yeah, this one is also not complete. And, uh, <laughs> shady motherfucker. Okay, so it is a black label with a Platinum Hits disc. And, oh, new. No. Um, again, same amount of scratches, but that should totally play. Okay, so, there we go. Those two are both going to Sparsely Dolphin. This one, however, staying in my collection because I don't actually have a standard copy of Halo 2. I have the collector's edition, but I don't have a standard. <laughs> now I do. And uh, you can tell this is the original case because it's got the Xbox seal of quality. Aha, Manuel. Okay, disc condition. Ooh, no. Oh no! Oh no! That's bad. Um, that is okay though. I am mainly excited about this to just have a standard copy of Halo 2 in my collection again, because I had this back in the day. I love this manual a lot. So, I'm all about the case and label for this one, because I already have a perfectly working copy of Halo 2 in my collector's edition, so that is mine. Uh, next up, something I don't give a shit about. 
NFL training camp for the Wii. Okay, now you guys can see like this. This lot was all over the place. Um, yeah, I don't care about Wii at all. It is complete though, so maybe it could be worse. Than, oh, that is the best disc of the day. That is almost spotless. There's one little mark right there. <laughs> Can't believe it's complete. Cool. Trade bait for something. Yeah, somebody would take it. Okay, next up we have a GameCube game. Uh, GameCube 2002 FIFA World Cup from EA Sports. That is the original case. 2002 FIFA World Cup Korea Japan official licensed product. Is this gotta be the original case because it's got the logo in there but it doesn't have the hold on here. That is a GameCube case though and it is complete. This is gonna be a case swap for me probably. Oh my god the disc is perfect! Wow. Oh well the case is a little chewed up I might not do a case well for this one. But hey, another GameCube game for the collection. I will not I will not turn that down. You know what I said when I was collecting GameCube I wasn't gonna go for anything that was not exclusive, but this is included in the lot, so you know that's a bonus for me. It's not something I'm going out to buy. And I also broke my rule of <laughs> no player's choice. You'll see that later um, when that, that one comes in. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, what, what is this? Oh, they actually put the Crash Team Racing inside of a case. It's a PS2 case, which I could absolutely use, but this is a PlayStation 1 game. And this is just... Uh, oh, that's not going to play. <laughs> oh, you know, that's, that's not going to play. Um, so, yeah. She's a broken... Oh, the case is broken too. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a fail. Um. Okay, we got two more original Xbox games. They're going in my collection personally. We have Chicken Little. Um, I've not really seen this one that often, so I'm happy to actually add it to the collection and uh, save the world. I've never seen this movie. Probably should, but hey, you know it's a 2000's character platformer can't be too bad all right and disc is not too bad it's a little scratched up but that should totally play so that is a another great pick up there and last for this bag we have EA Sports FIFA Soccer 2005 and I'm pretty sure I don't have this I don't think I have any FIFAs no, I do not. Cool! So, this is another one to add to the collection, because, again, I am going for a complete original Xbox set, so... The more the merrier! And she is 100% complete. And how is the disc condition? Honestly, not too shabby, but those scratches right there across will worry me, but... I know I won't play this anyways. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do a quick cut real quick because there's actually a lot of games in this last bag and I'm almost at my time limit for my recordings on my camera. I don't know why I said that because, you know, it's going to be seamless for you guys, but now it's not! <laughs> Yay! And, you know, could have been a good guy and opened the bag beforehand, but no. You got to deal with the ASMR. Okay, so, wow, these are actually in little tiny cases. Uh, we'll go with the disc stuff first. Uh, we have Ace Combat 5. I can't read that title because there is a KC right there. What does that say? The something war. I don't know. Uh, disc is okay. 
Okay. But, you know, whatever. Put that up there. Uh, I'll have to find a way to offload all my disc-only stuff. Let me see if a retro store might buy it or something like that, but I just don't care about disc-only. Uh, this... I know this game very well. Do not care about it whatsoever anymore, but it is a <laughs> copy of Connect Sports uh, for the 360. That's depressing to see the, the Rare logo there. <laughs> uh, let's see what the uh, disc looks like. Oh yeah, no, she's not going to play. There is a gouge. There is a gouge out of the disc. Yeah, no, she ain't going to play. That might just go ahead and be trash. Um, you're seeing what I'm saying. I don't know what that is. Oh, it actually is in the right sleeve because that that wasn't a Prince of Persia one. So this um, this is a copy of Grand Theft Auto Three for a PS2. Um, which I already have, I believe. Let me double check. I do complete a box, so I do not need this whatsoever. But again, this was $26. So, I cannot complain about this whatsoever. Next up is that copy of Prince of Persia. I guess we were talking earlier for the PS2. Uh, Prince of Persia Sands of Time. And I have all these for the original Xbox, so do not care. Um, that actually would play. That's actually really nice condition, so yeah, put that up there. Uh, okay, this one I'm really curious about. I'm gonna sit there because that's one of the main things that drove me to get this collection. Oh my god, that's heavy too. We'll save that for less. One out of order here. I do not care. I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, let's go with the mystery. <laughs> I have no idea what this could be. Devil May Cry! Okay. Case is broken. Oh, wow, that's... That's in there. Disc is actually in not bad shape. I may try to get some replacement art for that. Because I have Devil May Cry 3, but I do not have Devil May Cry, so... That could be a win, right there. Um... Okay. Get the other Wii title out of the way. <laughs> Game Party for the Wii. I do not care about this at all. Uh, wow, it is complete even with the registration card. Uh, cool. Alright, and... Perfect. One little tiny scratch. Do not care. But whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and start going with these other winter stuff. Um, I do not remember this being in the listing. Premium Pack Sub-Zero Edition. What? This was not in the listing at all. Wait, it was! It was disc only! I don't remember that. They found the case. Oof. So I got to say about that. And that. Alright, so what about a little sleeve? It's some... Okay, this is worth it just for the case. That is really cool. I didn't know this existed. What's inside of this? I don't know. There's more kind of deception. And it's deception. Cool, whatever. I'll, I'll take that. That's a really unique case. Okay, uh, we're going to save the PS1 games for last, because that's the ones I was most excited for. But we have a PS3 copy of Guitar Hero World Tour. This game I didn't play that much. I mean, I went through it. I think this one has Rush. There's like a whole segment where you play Rush. Yeah, this is the one with Crazy Train, so I'm pretty sure it's that one. Yeah. Pretty sure. 
But there's like a whole like concert where you gotta play Rush. Oh, it is complete too. I'm excited about this. Even though I can't play it, like I, I like having these games. Disc is perfect, nice, and it's the best kind of PS3 case with the Spider-Man font. Um, I have two and three, Guitar Hero two and three for 360, just off screen over here. Rock Band one, two, and three, uh, ACDC, Rock Band. Yeah, I, I was real big in the Rock Band and Guitar Hero. So, all right, so. We're going to go with the first of the PS1 games. Case a little dirty, but I can clean that up. It is Gran Turismo. And, uh, never played this game. I never owned this game. Wow, I still got the security still there, too. Alright, let's crack this thing open. Don't just play it, wear it. Okay. How do you... How do you get it out? There we go. So wait, they got this big case, but there's no disc in the front? It's complete though. Just one disc. So it's just a bunch of advertisements. It even says one disc right there. Why does it got the big dual case? Because Driver 2 is like this, and it's... it's... <laughs> I don't know, but it's complete. Alright, let's see the disc condition real quick. Not bad. All these PS1 games are pretty hard to keep in good condition, so, you know. It's got a few tiny scratches here, so it's not too bad. And finally, this one I pray to God is in great shape. Oh no! The jewel case is already broken. I can salvage this. I could salvage this. Okay, so it is Driver. Uh, it is the player's or greatest hits version, um, which is fine. I have the greatest hits version of Driver 2 over there. Probably gave this away when I said Driver 2 earlier, but whatever. Um, I really love Driver. Like, a lot. Um, Driver 3 and Parallel Alliance were like the big ones for me, but man, I love Driver. Um, oh, so happy that this is complete, too. Need a hint? Alright, please be in good shape. <gasps> it is perfect! There's not a single scratch on it! I'm so glad I saved this for last. Oh my god, that is a, like a brand spanking new disc. Oh. I'm so excited. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, and I can actually swap out that, that jewel case because I have a copy of Pro Skater 2. Um, this is actually my original copy. I have no idea where the back label went. I tried to sell this in a yard sale for $3 years and years and years ago. Nobody would buy it. Um, it's got the manual, but it's pretty borked because it like, was separated from the game in like a drawer and it has a coffee stain on it. Like, I didn't drink coffee back in the day, so, I don't know, um, but even, like, this one, look, it's got a little tiny spot right there, and this thing has, like, pretty much been in the jewel case the entire time, because I barely play this thing, so, PS1 games are really hard to keep in condition. Not that bad boy there. Oh, man. Okay, well, that, that's not part of the haul. Let's get rid of that. Ugh. So... Alright, um, give me one second. I'm going to organize this. The stuff that I'm going to keep, the stuff of the trash, and the stuff that I'm going to give to, to um, Surprisingly Dolphin. And we'll be right back. Okay, so here we have three piles. This is what's going to Surprisingly Dolphin. You just got two games, plus the cartridge Game Boy stuff. This is what I'm going to keep. Um, so I think I got my $26 out of all this right here, honestly. Three original Xbox games, GameCube game. Nice PS2 game there, which I didn't even know I was going to get. Then uh, PS3, and these two PS1 games, and you know what? This is such an oddity, I kind of really want to keep it. And next up, uh, the pile that I don't give a crap about. Uh, so, all the loose discs right here. The two games that didn't have uh, case arts, uh, which this was... PS1 game, anyways, Crash Team Racing, which 
that bad boy ain't gonna play, and the two Wii games. So, I really think this was the eBay deal of a lifetime, in my opinion. I absolutely love that I nailed this for $26. I hate whoever I bid for 25 You had plenty of opportunities to do a max bid, and you also had 30 seconds to bid $27. So, you know, that's that's up to you. I don't, I don't feel bad. You know what? I didn't do a prices right. No. No, sir. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is... Really, really great. Like, like I said, this is this is just the pile that I'm going to keep right here. That's worth more than twenty six dollars. Honestly, that is fantastic. Um, and I need to give my buddy some good games over here too. So you know, what? I can't I can't complain. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this junk over here. <laughs> just go ahead and throw it in the the, the trash. <laughs> 